you've done some traveling, is that correct? I do just a little bit of traveling. Well, I figured if summer's almost over, I had plenty of time to make up. Well, the first thing we did I want to talk about, we went to the Mesquite Rodeo. And um, we had a heck of a time there. And I do have a video. Don't show it just yet. <laughs> but I do want to show that. But before Don't we touch that dial. Yeah. And, of course, it's showing me errors. Okay. Anyways, um, we went to the the Mesquite Rodeo is one of the big rodeos. That and the Fort Worth Stockyards, that happens once a year as well. Mm-hmm. And I think the Mesquite Rodeo, they're wrapping up here in about a week or two, maybe. I think, see, this weekend they're wrapping up with the big show. But we had a lot of fun. I mean, and I had a video, and it didn't work out, but it's like... I never knew a horse could jump that high. (laughs) And it was like I was watching. One of the first things they entreat us to is the bucking Broncos. And this horse is, like, jumping five feet in the air to get this poor guy. And this guy's just, like, slapping him around on the back of the horse. You know, he's wearing this neck brace to protect him. And the horse finally goes, you know, jumping's not working. So he runs straight into the wall with the rider on him. And that didn't work either. But the poor guy has, you know, got his hand wrapped in the... And on purpose, hand wrapped to the horse, and I just know the guy's thinking, "What on God's green earth am I thinking getting on this thing?" And so, and of course, I hear a rumor that they put straps on the poor little horsey in places where straps should not go. Oh, uh huh. Yes. Yes, and sure. well, yeah. Why do you think they're kicking so hard and so high? <laughs> well, my husband leans over, and I won't repeat exactly what he said, but to the effect of that horse is thinking right now, I'm getting this. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Right. <laughs> I'm thinking, poor little horsey. Mm-hmm. Um. So, and then after that, we this past weekend we did kind of a big tour. We went to the Creation Evidence Museum, and I think. Um, Suzanne, I cannot read that far away. I don't have my glasses on. This is X-Fire. Oh. Thank you. I can't get on X-Fire right now. Is that the place in Glen Rose? No. (laughs) X-Fire is an instant messaging utility. So that's... No, I'm I'm at the Creation Museum place. (laughs) Anyways. uh, (laughs) I can follow a gag, sister. (laughs) (laughs) I can't. Not right now. I I've told you I can't drink caffeine. You can't? Oh, no, okay. I get headaches now. If I have withdrawals like two days later. Oh, well, that's and why you're supposed to keep drinking it. <laughs> that's expensive. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So, um, Susie, there won't be expire right now. Um, um, what was I talking about? Okay, we went to the Creation Evidence Museum. Yeah. And, uh, Susie, if you could show a couple of those pictures, I'm unable to see them. Um, I assume that it's not in Glen Rose, then. That's not the it one I'm It is in Glen Rose. Oh, okay. Yes, this All is right. the one that's in Glen Rose. And um, just show them, Susie, like one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Okay. And, um, but, yeah, it was really neat because... This was a museum that showed, first of all, dinosaurs and historical artifacts. Uh, the guy travels all over the world. And um, Bonner, I think, it, oh, goodness, I should remember his name, but I don't. Um, but it's a guy who, he studied archaeology, and he's got a Ph.D. in something else. Mm-hmm. And he's just, he goes all over the world, does his studies. But there's also a location in the Texas area uh, a little bit in Glen Rose, a little bit near Brownwood, and just there's like pockets of areas that he comes and does some excavations. Mm-hmm. And he's found dinosaur bones locally. He's found uh, one of them was called a arch. And again, and I don't have the internet. All my files uh, are in Dropbox. <laughs> Arch Delpha uh, rhinoceros. Yeah, something, something like, like that. Something Saurus. <laughs> yeah, every, all my files are on Dropbox, so I don't have that information in front of me. But um, but yes, but but there's a dinosaur that was evidently pretty prominent in that particular area, and they've got you know claw prints. Susie, can you find the claw print that's on there and show that? Okay, thank you. But uh, so she's probably pulling up right now what looks like, and that I believe was an authentic one. He had some replicas. He had some. Um, he had some of the real ones, and so the ones that were more priceless, he has them in a private collection somewhere. Um, but he also had some, like, pots and sheepskin scrolls from Russia and all kinds of artifacts facts that relate to biblical history. Mm-hmm. And so it was really just a neat thing to see. And one of their biggest claims 
is um, because they believe that dinosaurs walk, which is very contradictory to evolutionary beliefs. They're extremely creationist, and they believe that dinosaurs and humans walked on the earth together. And in fact, one of the places that they found uh, fossilized footprints was a dinosaur going that way and a human going that way. Oh, and they and established they, that they were at the same time? Yes. Hmm, okay. And so, you know, so that evidently, and if you look, they've got a scale model of uh, Noah's Ark. They took like, Susie, how many years did it take them to build that? Two or three. Two or three years? And it's a one twentieth of the size of what the real thing probably was. Hmm. And so, and they put like little animals and humans, and they have these big <laughs> water wells at each end of it. And I mean, they didn't just build the thing. They actually thought about um, what, how they might have survived. So it was real, and that was worth the whole thing of just going and seeing that. I mean, to me it was. It was just kind of cool just to study that for a while. Interesting. So. Okay. And then you also went to the Dublin Dr. Pepper plant? I went to the Dublin, and I... Or Dr. 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 Pepper. Oh, I'm, it's I'm not sorry, Dr. I mis- Pepper plant I misspoke. Anymore. Shame, shame. Yes, this is what they're selling now. Uh, they don't sell Dr. Pepper there anymore or any of their others, but they do have, like, the Dublin Cherry Limeade and the Dublin Retro Grape. And so if you go to the Dublin Body... Bottling works. <laughs> blah, blah, Dublin blah, Body blah. Works. <laughs> bath and Dublin Body Works. Yeah, you see where take my bath and Dr. Pepper. This is what Pepper. I'm going to do after oh, the show would today. Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> take a bath and Dr. Pepper. That would be pretty good. Right. Well, they no longer. Yeah, and they do still have the Dr. Pepper Museum. And are you showing those slides, Susie? Um, just, just yeah. And um, but. Uh, like, I think if you'll pull up, like, there's a couple of the machines that they showed off. You can show some of those machines for me. But they had, um, they showed us the, the machines where they clean the bottles because the bottles are recyclable. So they wash the bottles, and they have machines that do that. And then they go around, then they have to put the liquid in them, then they have to inspect the liquid. And then they had the museum of all the Dr. Pepper history because they were a Dr. Pepper plant. And then they had the annex across the street. Can you show some of those pictures of the annex, Susie? Okay, she's ahead of me. Yeah, okay. Uh, my, uh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, but it was really cool. I yeah, mean, yeah. so to see the Dr. Pepper history, they've been around. That particular plant has been around for over 100 years. Right. They were the first one. Um, Sam Prim, I believe his name, was the one that started it up. Okay. And okay. it's where Dr. Pepper first started. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, and then they got a lawsuit and shut them down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like seriously? Yeah. yeah, we were we we had, we went there a little over a year ago. I guess it was spring break last year, or uh-huh. right before spring break last year that uh, we went there, and it was like the day after they had made the announcement. So it was, yeah, <laughs> it was oh, like, oh it was like, so y'all just missed it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, and my late father in law, he 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 uh, he had a, a numerous. Um, he had numerous jobs. He was one of those people that just, like, did everything you uh-huh. know, before he got his, you know, the last job that he had, he did for, like, 25 years or so. And uh, But before that, you know, he had worked. It worked in all kinds of jobs and all kinds of industries, mm-hmm. and and one of the one of the best stories he told was about about working at Dr Pepper and and how he oh, uh, neat. how he <laughs> well he said that it was uh, probably one of the worst jobs he ever had because oh. it was so hot they didn't oh, air condition it yeah because that and, window it, is right it, there yeah and you could. And he'd worked there, and uh, he said it was one of the worst jobs he ever had. And uh, he said that uh, you could like take a break if the if the uh, bottling mechanism broke down. And he said the breakdowns were rather frequent, and um, and so they would stop, and then they would like drink Dr Pepper as their as their mode of refreshment. Um, so <laughs> so yeah, he said uh, he said that it was uh, he there were people who were like. Um, fraternity guys uh, from SMU that would go and um, uh, uh, go there and go there work. They would answer an ad in the paper and they would show up and then the next day they would show up again. <laughs> he said that he had worked there like a week and that uh, he had gotten a job doing something working for the um, Texas Transportation, uh, uh, tra- Texas Highway Department, you know, like picking up trash or something. And uh, he took that job over the, the <laughs> over the <laughs> Dr. Pepper plant job. Oh, 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 wow! <laughs> and actually, I don't, I, you know, I don't think it, he worked to, to 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 stand corrected and and uh, not to uh, 
give bad credit where credit is due. It's, it, I don't think it was du- the Dublin plant that he worked at. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was in uh, uh, South Dallas or something like oh, that. Oh, okay. And, and it was 50 or, 50 or 60 years ago anyway. Right. So. <laughs> well, I feel sorry for anyone who works because what they do now, they only do the bottling like once a month mm-hmm. because they don't, you know, they only have like a 44-mile radius. And so they can't really do a whole lot. So it's just once a month they get in there, and they said the hot summer months are very difficult because you see it, and it's just a window right there, and your back is to the window, that sun beats in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So anyways, and if we have time, um, Susie begged me and begged me and begged me and begged me. I did something really crazy that... <laughs> um, and so, and again, I don't have a setup, so you get to see this later, but... I, I don't know. Should we take a vote? Should we show the really crazy thing I did? No, well, why not? I mean, you know, we'll, 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 if we got like two minutes, we'll. we'll it do it that. only takes about 15 seconds. All right. So go ahead and roll it. Roll them. Okay. Is so, it done? Yes. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll see it in a few seconds here. <laughs> I mean, laughing hysterically. Yes. Okay, so, so when, when he gets there. But, yeah, we, we decided to ride a mechanical bull. <laughs> and I decided to shell out my five bucks and uh-huh, uh-huh, do something uh-huh. really. And the guy was real nice about it. He's like, went really slow. Yeah. Or so it seemed until he was like, okay, that's enough. Wait. And so, yeah, it was just he decided to whip that thing really hard. And I'm like, seriously, I was having so much fun, but okay. <laughs> well, and all those uh, all the karate lessons, uh, or taekwondo, I guess. Uh, ta- taekwondo did do, did they do did some good. that and the drill team. Yeah. Because um, the drill team strengthened my legs, so I was gripping that bull for everything it was worth with my thighs. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Okay.